Hey everyone, I'm Alex with Techno FYI, and in this video I will show you how to record your PC screen in HD for free. This video accompanies our written tutorial, which you can read at any time by clicking the logo on the upper right hand corner of the video. To get started, you will need to download Microsoft Expression Encoder 4 from Microsoft's website. I've already included the link for you in the description, so when you click on it, you'll be brought to this page. Click the red download button and wait for the application to download. After the application is downloaded, go ahead and open it. Accept the license agreement. Hit next, next again, and install. Here you'll notice that two applications are being installed, Expression Encoder 4 and the Expression Encoder 4 Screen Capture Codec. The Screen Capture Codec is the program that will record the screen, while the encoder will convert that screen recording into a file that you can import to a video editor like Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas, or upload directly to sites like YouTube or Vimeo. Once the applications have finished installing, click the Finish button. The next step is to open the Expression Encoder 4 Screen Capture Codec. You can tell which program this is because it has the red dot on the icon. Click or tap on it to open it, and you'll see this small window appear with five buttons in it. The five buttons from left to right are for Audio, Webcam, Modify Options, Capture Manager, and Record. Before you go ahead and record your screen, let me go over some of the options that you can modify so you can get the most out of every screen capture. To modify settings, click on the gear button, and you'll see this window appear with a couple tabs in it. The most important tabs in this window are the screen tab and the audio tab. Here on the screen tab, you can see options for your frame rate, bit rate, quality, and the option to include the mouse cursor in your recording. For the frame rate, I like to keep this at 15 frames per second for my computer tutorials, like the one you're viewing now. But if you're recording games or anything else with a lot of motion, I would probably set this to 30 frames a second. Just keep in mind that the higher the frame rate, the more taxing it'll be on your computer, which could result in a lower quality video. For the bitrate, I like to keep this at 30,000 kilobits per second. The quality likes to default to 95, but I would change this to 100. And since I'm doing a computer tutorial, I would opt to include the mouse cursor in the recording. Let's take a look at the audio tab now. In the top box, you have all of the audio devices that are currently connected to your computer. If you wanted to do a voiceover, you would select the microphone that you want to use. In the bottom area, you can change the format. I always have this at 2 channel 16 bits at 48 kilohertz. And for the bitrate, it defaults at 192, but I would select 256 as you would get a higher quality audio recording. When you're done changing all of these settings, just click OK, and now you're ready to record your screen. Now that I've gone over some of the important settings, you can start recording by pressing the red record dot on the far right side. The application will then ask you to define a capture area, which will be defined in red as you can see here. You can define your own custom area by clicking this button on the far left side that says Define Capture Area. After you click that button, you can click and drag anywhere on the screen to create a capture area. You can edit this after the fact, as you can see here, and you can move the window wherever you want on your screen. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to be recording one full screen. So to choose this, you can see this drop down menu right next to the record button. You're going to select current screen. You could also select full screen, but if you have more than one monitor attached to your computer, the application will record all of those. So it's safer just to select current screen. When you're done, click the record button. You'll have a three second countdown. And now everything that is being done inside of that capture area will now start being captured and will eventually be encoded so you can put it into a video. To stop recording, 
The default keystroke is Control, Shift, and F12 all at the same time. You'll see that we have a larger window up here, and this is actually the Capture Manager button that we saw earlier. So here's that normal small window, and when we click the Capture Manager button, we now see all of our screen captures. To encode, we're just going to click the video that we want to encode, and click Send to Encoder. Now you'll see that Expression Encoder 4 begins to load. This application will convert the screen recording to a file that you can import to various video editors like Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, or even Windows Movie Maker, or just directly upload the video to sites like YouTube or Vimeo. When the application loads, you'll see your video right here. The first thing you're going to do is tell the application where you want to save the video. To do this, click on the Output tab on the right hand side, kind of in the middle of this column. Look for Job Output, Directory, and then to the right of that you should see a button with three dots on it. Click that button, and then specify where you want to save the video. For this I'm just going to select Desktop and hit OK. Now click on the Encode tab, which is opposite of the Output tab. You'll skip past this Output Format section, since there's not a whole lot you can change in there anyway, and expand the Video section. Here you'll be modifying some of the video encoding settings, the first of which will be the mode. For this, you'll want it to be at CBR1 pass, the buffer window can stay at 4, the frame rate can stay at the source, so nothing will change, and the keyframe interval can stay at 20. You'll want the bitrate to be 30,000, the size mode can stay at source, and the width and height really depends on the resolution of your screen capture. For me, my capture was 1080p, so my width will be at 1920, and my height will be at 1080. When you scroll down, you'll want the video aspect ratio to stay at source, and this checkbox next to 4 square pixels to be checked. That's it for the video encoding settings. Let's go and modify the audio settings now. Here you want the mode to stay at CBR1 pass, you want the bitrate to be 256 kilobits per second, stereo channels, the sample rate to be 48 kilohertz, and the bits per sample to be at 24. To encode your video, press the encode button in the lower left hand corner of the window, and you'll see this progress circle take the place of your video. Encoding times will vary based on the speed of your computer, the length of the recording, and the resolution of the recording. When encoding's done, you'll see the progress circle go away, and if you go to the output folder you specified earlier, you should see the video, which as I've mentioned earlier can be directly uploaded to YouTube and Vimeo, and can also be imported to various video editor programs. So that's how you get to record your PC screen in HD for free. For Techno FYI, I'm Alex Kuklinski. Thanks for watching.